Hello students, we are learning English grammar. This video is for pre midterm exam revision. The syllabus of pre midterm exam consists of parts of speech, tenses, subject verb agreement, active passive voice, words likely to be confused, and essay writing. In parts of speech, these are the following subtopics. Out of these subtopics, we will focus more on verb. Verbs have four types which we have already studied. Transitive verbs, intransitive verbs, finite verbs and non-finite verbs. Transitive verbs have an object with them. Intransitive verbs do not have an object. Finite verbs can change their form with change in number of subject or tenses. Non-finite verbs do not change with the change in number of subject or tenses. The second topic is subject verb agreement. If the subject is singular, the verb is also singular. If the subject is plural, the verb is also plural. For example, singular subject, singular verb, plural subject, plural verb. If two or more singular subjects are joined by and, the verb is plural. Here we have three subjects joined by and, so the verb is plural. If two singular subjects refer to the same person or thing, the verb is singular. In such cases, the article is not repeated. Look at this example. Here we have two subjects, artist and painter. The verb here is singular because the artist and the painter are the same person. We can say this because the article is used only once here. If two singular subjects refer to two different persons or things, the verb is plural. Look at the example, writer and the singer. Here we have two subjects. These two subjects are talking about two different people. That means the writer and the singer are two different people. We can say this because the article is repeated twice. So if the article is not repeated if the article is used only once then we are talking about the same person or the same thing but if the article is repeated twice we are talking about two different people or about two different things if singular subjects are preceded by each and every the verb is singular each singular verb every singular verb if two or more singular subjects are connected by or, nor, either or, neither nor, the verb is singular. We can look at the following examples. If the subjects joined by or, nor, either or, neither nor are of different numbers, that means the two subjects which are joined by these words are of different numbers if there are two subjects. Subject 1 and subject 2. If subject 1 is singular and subject 2 is plural, then in that case the verb is plural. And the plural subject is placed nearest to the verb, which means, look at this example. Here we have two subjects, Nita and her brothers. Nita is singular, her brothers is plural. And the verb which is used here is also plural. So the verb will agree to the subject which is nearest to it. If the subjects joined by or, nor, either or, neither nor are of different persons, the verb agrees with the subject that is nearest to it like we have seen here. Nouns which are plural in form but singular in meaning take a singular verb. Like social studies is an interesting subject to study. Social studies looks plural, but actually in meaning it is singular. So the verb used is singular. Nouns that are singular in form, but plural in meaning take a plural verb. Like the police have, here police looks singular, but actually in meaning it is plural because police refers to the entire police force. So here the verb is also plural. When a plural noun denotes quality or quantity that is considered as whole, verb is singular. Look at these two examples. Here we have quantity and the verb is singular. When two subjects are joined by as well as with, 
together with in addition to the verb agrees with the first subject look at this example here we have two subjects the first one is singular the second one is plural but the verb is singular because it is agreeing with the first subject when a plural noun comes in between a singular subject and its verb the verb must agree with the subject and not with the nearest plural noun look at this last example the taste of these biscuits is really good the taste is the subject is is the verb so the verb should agree with the subject and not with any noun which is coming in between them collective noun such as group crowd flock regiment are generally followed by singular verb look at these examples which starts with groups but actually the verbs are singular noun such as food furniture clothing take a singular verb look at these examples some nouns such as shoes scissors trousers which appear to be plural in form when preceded by a pair of take a singular verb which means when shoes scissors trousers whenever they are alone in the sentence the verb is plural but in a sentence if a pair of comes before them that means in that case the verb will be singular because a pair of means one pair of look at the example a pair of scissors was kept inside the drawer so if there is a pair of the verb is singular but when there is no a pair of the verb will be plural like this the next topic is tenses here we have a table consisting of three columns the first one tells us about the name of the tense the second one tells us the structure or the formula of the tenses the third one tells us the examples this table is very important it consists of all the tenses which we have learned so far so make sure you learn this table properly and even understand it before learning The next topic is active and passive voice. For the conversion of active and passive voice, these are the steps which we have already studied. You can always go back to the first video on the same channel, and you can learn active and passive voice in detail here. Make sure before learning the conversion, you should know the formula first. There are a number of special cases. the special case consists of continuous tense be it past present or future in continuous tense we always have an ing verb so whenever there is an ing verb we add being before the v3 in passive voice this is a special case in the second special case for perfect tenses for past and present we always add been when we want to convert them into passive voice in active voice past perfect tense will have had and present perfect tense will have have or has in active voice so while converting active to passive we are supposed to add been and we also have to follow the steps for conversion of active to passive the third special case is for future perfect tense in future perfect tense we have these phrases will have and shall have in active voice to convert them into passive voice we have to add been to these phrases and we also have to follow the steps of conversion in the fourth special case which is about simple future tense simple future tense has will or shall in active voice to convert it into passive voice we should add be to both these words while converting imperative sentences from active to passive these are the steps these steps also we have learned in detail in the previous videos so you can always go back to the video and refer to it in detail but the easiest thing which which we can do to convert orders into passive voice is we can add the phrases like you are ordered or you are commanded look at this hold the door open the passive voice is you are ordered to hold the door open this is the easiest way in case of requests 
you can always introduce phrases like you are requested or you are advised and remove the word please look at the example please close the windows the passive voice is you are requested to close the windows it is as easy as this while converting passive voice to active voice the steps are just reverse this also we have already done in the previous videos so here the easiest way is remove the phrases which we added like you are ordered or commanded we are supposed to remove such phrases you are also supposed to remove the phrases like you are requested or advised in case of request and after that just arrange the sentence in svo format to convert it into active voice we have this topic words likely to be confused this is your chapter number 24 page number 151 so for this you can learn these words which are given in your textbook this word i mean this page and this following page so this page consists of pair of words which are very similar so the meaning is written and the sentences are made using these two words which will help us to clarify the confusion now the last topic is essay writing we have written lot of essays in the previous classes so you are well versed with this but whenever you write an essay make sure that you write essays into different paragraphs and paragraph forms make sure that the first paragraph is the introduction and the last paragraph is your conclusion the paragraphs in between will be the body of the essay make sure that the first paragraph and the last paragraph are more interesting compared to the paragraphs in the middle the last paragraph should always be the summary of whatever you have written in the previous paragraphs i hope these points and this video will be useful to you in revising so that's all thank you